Hi, you guys. Uh, welcome to Geechee Sear YouTube channel. I want to thank all my new subscribers. I appreciate you and all my old supporters. It's kind of humbling. I lost my channel. I had just made 1,100. Took me three long years. I didn't buy any um any likes, and I you know I showed and proved I get you know. But you know I got to start over. But anyway, these nails are something else. Let me just tell you the history so far. What they know. Um, 3000 BC in Africa, it was considered high status to have um, long nails and they had nail attachments too. So no one owns the nails, right? And we let's remember Flojo had all kinds, all styles. Everything that you think is new, there's nothing new under the sun. And y'all know on my channel, I like to give credit just like um, um, Sudanese and um, Ethiopian. I mean, and, um, and, and um, Egyptian people um, on the hieroglyphs invented, they call it the secret, but law of attraction. Okay, so let's get started. Let's look at how this man or woman um, views you. And it's funny how I said that because they, you might be very, very studious, very um, um, world, you know, um, worldly, um, well-traveled, um, very acquisitive. And so let's just look at how this man or woman views you, the person that you love that's in your heart. All right, pal one, um, some of y'all could care. I was coughing. You could care about your health. You could be in physical um, fitness, whether you're in shape or not. But at one time, you were really, really motivated to be in fitness. That's how this person views you. Um, I was hearing you say something I forgot. Oh, you could not care about like people's hair weaves and makeup and stuff like that. I, I think you maybe want the man or woman to look as attractive as, as you can, or you could be the totally opposite. You could like that whole natural um, type look. So I don't think you're in between, right? All right, so let's look at how people view you, power one. I don't want to be here all day. Oh, God, dog. <laughs> I, didn't even get to mix, I didn't even get to mix this up. They could, I mean, I'm sorry. Why well, say people? You could have, oh, maybe this person um, views you as having um, more than one suitor. Um, maybe, um, you know, side pieces and, miss, um, you know, baby mama, baby daddies, or have some um, addictions, um, alcohol, drugs, sex addictions, lust. They could, could view you as very, very good in bed, very hot temper, very spicy type men and women. Um, you could walk away from jobs. Um, you could be a very, like a leader where people follow you uh, and you promise to lead them, but I, I don't know how, where you're going to lead them to. You could be a very, but you could be, I'm not saying that you're not a good leader, but I'm just saying like you could probably, you, I, I got that Jim Jones type energy. If you really wanted people to um, do what you wanted them to do, they would probably do it because <laughs> I feel like this is how this person views you. I feel like they view you that you're different from them. You're totally different. Like you could even look different. You could have different belief systems. You could be at the crossroads in your life. You could be having some financial struggles and financial challenges. I do feel like they feel like you're very, very sexual, um, sensual, sexy um, type people. But I'm hearing hot tempered, very, very hot tempered. You could curse or you could or you could not curse. You could have, the, I think they view you as you could have a double life. Um, I do see possessive. Um, what was I anxious, insecurity, or maybe jealous, um, rage, you could rage, you could have been in anger management, um, only take about 10% and say this don't belong to me, you like attention, they view you as you really, really love attention, and then the Scots, a Scots honor, I feel like they view you like you don't tell the whole truth, I'm gonna tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth, I don't think you tell the whole truth, I think they know that, how do they view you? Maybe they feel like right now in your life, you're at a crossroad. You're trying to figure out what you like, figure out which way you're going to do, uh, go or do maybe something you want to do, some business projects or something like that. How do they view you? My right foot is burning. Um, oh my God, it's got a lot of download. You could process a lot of information. You could get a lot of thoughts, a lot of um, ideas. Um, you know, um, you have so many ways and streams to make money. They could view you as a hustler. So like if you wouldn't got a degree or a certification or gigs or, you know what I mean? Maybe you made things. You could have stuff patent. Like they, they view you as a very, I mean, you're a complex person, um, but you still have that spice. Um, how do they view you? 
You could like to be around very sexy, attractive people, or you could really like the attention, the hype. They could view you as a, a pleasure seeker, um, very worldly, very materialistic. Let's crack these cards and pop these cards and see how this man or woman in your heart sees you. They could feel like you're very, got a very keen intuition, but you, know, you don't use it the way you should. Maybe they feel like you care about other, what other people think. They could feel like you, they view you as you have a hard time expressing yourself. Oh, I remember. They view you as that you have the devil on one shoulder and um, the angel on the other. You're always struggling and you're striving to be a better man and a better woman. <laughs> Let me tell you, they view you as the life of the party. They view you as very attractive. People like you. I mean, just the lust, the temptation, your aura as men and women. Yeah, some of you guys hair grow real fast. I don't know if I got to say that. You're aging very, very well. Some like you, you guys are very young, but you're so mature, right? And I see a lot of spice. See, Latinos and Mexicans in here, right? You could be dated, my Ray is burning, dated interracial. Now, they do see you as a person who is very worldly. Um, I, I don't know so much studious you could be, but I mean sexually. Yeah, I feel like that. Yeah, and they feel like you're a person that has a lot of secrets. This is how this man and woman care about you, how they view you. They, they, they view you that you think that you're getting over on them, but you're really not because they feel like your life story, you could have a very, very... It's the word salacious. I don't use salacious, salacious path. All right. I don't want to be here all day. I got maybe something to eat. I just supposedly started eating back healthy. I don't know how that's going to work. I might as well just say forget it. The start of the first of the year. You could like to eat. You could like to cook. They could view you like that. These nails. You could be a person that wear nails and jewelry or make jewelry, um, do nails, hair, makeup, or very fashionable as men and women. And they also view you as you walk in the room, honey, your presence. I don't care if you you looking like a bum that day. They feel like you as men and women, you going people going um are drawn to you. And they, you know what? They view you that way, but they also like that. I just want you to know they like that the way you get you get that attention. Now they do view you that you have some karmic attachments that's crazy. Yeah, some of y'all could have got, sorry, physically hurt, shot, or something like that by some karmics, meaning men and women who are supposed to come in your life, but um, they stay longer. Oh, man. They view you as very empathetic, warm, caring people, but you don't walk into it. Like, hurt people, hurt people, projection, because I got the five of, um, I guess they want me to do it this way, I'll do it this way. Um, they view you as you haven't broke a lot of patterns of behavior that no longer serve you like you could um let's just go through some addictions um self-sabotage overachiever um you couldn't repeat it, a lot of the behaviors that was taught to you or that weren't taught and that you uh, acquired um you could have been bullied but then you could have turned around and bullied other people you could have been cheated on and then now you cheat um betray lie or you could be the black sheep. I feel a lot of late bloomers. I feel a lot of hurt and brokenness in this pile. But I feel like, yeah, I'm doing intuitive. I feel like they view you as you haven't really walked in your, um, this is the Empress card. You haven't really walked into your Empress divine um, feminine energy. Why I say that? Because these two cards came together. And I can read them all kinds of ways. I can throw these cards. I'm going to read these cards. Right? I can throw them in the air. I'm going to read these cards. But they just really feel like you haven't really tapped in that loving, kind, nurturing man and woman that you are because it's about character, right? And I feel like they view you as that you know better, right? And they say, when you know better, you do better. But I think they view you as you keep repeating the same cycles of behavior that should be broken, right? I can be here all day. Like, you know, mother was a rolling stone, daddy was a rolling stone, or they could have been overachievers or racist or, you know, or, you know, gossipers or care about what their family said or their friends or click mentality. Like a lot of dysfunctions that we learn um, as young men and women and we haven't broken yet. Um, I, I see a lot of reactionary in this power. I do. I see a lot of temperament. I see a lot of fights. Um, and, um, and um, yeah. Yeah. They, you could have abandonment issues. They could see you as having abandonment issues. Uh, they could see you telling a little um, fibs. Um, and, 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 and how they view you is that you make your life, uh, you forget about a part of your life that's a part of you, but you operate out of that if, if that, if that makes sense. It's a lot, it's a lot. Child says you can be very emotional, very feeling, and you can have a lot of regrets, but you cover it up. Empress, I feel like 
there is times where you tap into that good character. She talks about good character and, you know, the kindness and loving. They could feel like you're a very good father, a very good mother, very loving, very caring, um, very compassionate, empathetic. You could have people tell you that you are an empath or maybe you should do tarot card readings or, you know, or, you know, just something about you that you really care. You're so warm and it attracts people, right? But I feel like that's, they see you as that's just, I'm not saying that's not who you are. I don't feel like you can hold it that long. And why you can't hold it that long? Hello. <laughs> why you can't hold? Which is good because I lost my voice. Um, I, you know, whatever I was had this week. Um, th th because because of your brokenness, so you put on a lot of acts and stuff. So I don't know who this man or woman is, and I don't know if uh, if I'm if I'm you know close. But this is how they see you as a broken young man or young woman. I don't care what your age is, and you haven't really done your healing, and you have a lot of regret, and, and you masquerade. All right, how do they see you? I am sick of these nails already. How do they see you? Power one. The man or woman that you care about. How do they see you? Some of y'all could wear glasses because I ain't got my glasses on. You could have a hard time aging and getting older. Oh my God. You could have some jealousy. Some hidden jealousy, but you masqueraded by being an overachiever. Oh my gosh, yeah. Some of y'all wear glasses too. You could want to hold on. You could be wanting to hold on to youth to the point where you know how you say um, men and women, and I'm and I don't care how you dress. I'm 56. I have my own style. Um, but you and you could have your own style, but they could feel like um, you know you could still be trying to dress like you know and st still trying to you know be out there. And that's isolated. You know they could feel like you still have some immaturities that you need to grow up. Now that don't mean that people looking in that you're not ambitious and that you know you're not creative. Some you could be entertainers, stuff like that, um, comedians, you know, writers and scholars and very attractive men and women. And I'm seeing people at a podium and professors and stuff like that. We talk about how they see, right? And I think this person, men and women that you're asking about, I feel like they see a very good. They see you better than a lot of people because I feel like they feel like you put on a lot of masks. And personas, right? And sometimes we do to, to get through life. They definitely feel like you like your own stuff. You can't work for nobody. Yeah. How do you, how do they how do they see you? I, I can't do the nails. I'm ready to snap them off. How do they see you? Good God on my as a deep thinker, and it takes you a while to get it, right? Because this is this is a wise um, card, and but you have to think. You have to think. Maybe they feel like you think. You go off to yourself. You could come off cold, um, silent treatments. You could be a ghost. And don't ask me how I'm getting out this out the hermit um, tarot card readers. But uh, this is what I'm feeling. I'm an intuitive reader. They could feel like you have to really take your time. And I, well, I feel like I'll see something. Maybe they feel like you see stuff that's not there, and that you're cerebral and you stay in your head too much, and you talk yourself out of a good thing or you make a lot of bad choices and so now you have to take your time be very observant and look and see what's good for you and then you you grow this way and you become wise um but i feel like this very very time consuming you're not a very quick person to make a decision you know you could be hasty and made a lot of decisions being hasty whether it turned out good or bad you could have been very reactionary but then you also have this other side so they think you're kind of Somebody may even call you called bipolar or have a couple personalities or very moody or something like that. But they see that you need to think about it. You really have to think about it, what you're going to do. So you can weigh out both sides and make a clear decision. And they feel like you're free-spirited and you need some space. I have a lot of devil energy in here. So just picture what the devil is big and bad enough to do. I feel like they feel like you're very bold and you're big and bad enough to do with a lot of things that most people wouldn't do. Okay, let me give you... One more of these, and we could yeah, we might be done in 20. I heard this is a man or woman see that you're a person that take a leap of faith. Yeah, at one time they feel like you maybe you weren't, but you will. Like you a person like, oh shoot, I'll start my own stuff. I'll do my own stuff. I'll get my own gigs. Um, I'll go back to school. You know what I mean? I'll learn this. Like you, you're so motivating. You're very um optimistic and 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 illuminating at times, and very passionate. And when you when you want to do it, you're like not paying attention to your other surroundings. You can have tunnel vision. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Um, so you can have this fixated and have a um attitude or preoccupation for something or someone and you want them and they feel like you're going to take a leap of faith and you're going you're going to get it they could see you as a person who had a lot of phone numbers and area codes and zip codes or you moved a lot only take about 10 percent and say the shit don't belong to you yeah you could like the flair the height 
the height of um of um the limelight and the status and you know um some of y'all can have a nose ring because it's coming in my um mouth they could like your your style yeah you could have a flair of theatrics and drama and yeah you could they could see you as drama follows you because maybe they feel like you um, you know, I love it. You know what I mean? I think you could be so carefree that sometimes that you could be inconsiderate. And I, I don't know why I feel like, I feel like that. I gotta say that right. I don't know. Anything else? You could be a dog lover. I mean, love your dog. Or you know how people kiss their dogs in the mouth and shit. Let's go. <laughs> Anything else? How does this man or woman that they're thinking about see him? And I could be wrong. Uh, ooh. Ooh, King of Cups. They they feel like you could hold grudges and you could be cold. Didn't I say hurt people hurt people? They feel like you could be very cold, very emotionally um, unavailable, very, um, I, I'm just getting cold, you know, not warm, not loving. Um, remember the Empress is very loving, kind, compassionate. And I had the Five of Cups and I said, I, I think that you're, they know that you're capable of tapping into that. So I, 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 I'm doing a reading. So more than likely the man or woman that you're asking about could be your totally opposite. They could be very caring, loving, warm, and they could really try to push you as a man or woman to see that side or more operate more on that side. But you could be very stubborn. You could hold grudges a long time. Like you could be very defensive. You don't maybe not real too quick to forgive or say thank you or I love you or something like that. I'm sorry. They could feel like you're self-centered. Now I, you know, and I do my readings. I'm not trying to be harsh. I'm just saying how this person sees you. And just because we, we all have um, things that we have to work on, it's a progression, right? It's a life progression. But I feel like in this pile, you could be very, very stubborn and hold grudges and hurt people, hurt people, and very hard, very hard, not very soft. And I feel like you choose who, because you have the empress, I feel like they feel like you choose who to give your love to, who your emotional availability to, who you want to forgive, and who you want to hold grudges. Yeah. I wouldn't fuck with you in regards to emotion because your emotions go upside down, right? It's not consistent. I could be wrong. All right, let's get the last cards. The nails are ag agitating, aggravating to me. So you could become very, very agitated, um, have high anxiety, think in your mind, um, and your ass don't want to be born. <laughs> Where you at? Where you at? Bring them out. Bring them out, T.I. Right? I don't want to write to that. You could not want to be bothered. I mean, just shut down. I mean, you just completely shut down. And it'd be hard for people to understand you and try to get you to open up. You have a hard time opening up. But let me tell you, they do feel like you're methodical and you're intentional and you know exactly what you're doing. So these people um, for Power One, who you're asking about, this man or woman, they know you're more smarter than people realize. You're smart. And every Everything you do, they feel like it's intentional and methodical. You know exactly what you're doing. You could play the victim. You could be very defensive, offensive, and um, and um, and do the blame game. You know what I mean? Yeah. You could feel like you're always right. All right. I know. I feel like I'm beating up on y'all, but that's the kind of reading I got to do today. I'm just asking how this person view you. What's this? Okay. How does this person view you? Oh, last card. Oh, they view you as their equal. <laughs> they feel like you're highly intelligent. Um, now, I'm going to say this, and you got to take with a grain of salt. They feel like you can communicate, collaborate, work together, be successful as a couple. Because um, I guess it's a love type, you know, business or whatever. But you got to want to do it. So if you're in this energy where I don't want to communicate, I don't want to collaborate. You know what I'm saying? I'm not care about setting no goals and we work together and all that. They feel like you can have that side too. But this person views you as, which I think is wonderful. They feel like you're um, the high. You got this king high intuition. Um, you know, you're very motivated. Um, you could be very, very successful. You, a lot of you have been successful. Um, if you collaborate, communicate, um, you know, work toward the goal and work together, work with somebody because they could they could see you as a solo person, right? Which is funny um, um, because I, I went out. Um, never mind. And you know how groups is somebody always want to be in front, like the Diana Ross, like you know, like the Diana Ross syndrome, right? You know what I mean? You they could look at you like that, like you have a hard time working together in a group, but you're capable of it, depending on your moves and shit. You know what I'm saying? Your moves and shit. Yeah, definitely very, very smart. Um, yeah. So you how they see you is that you choose to, to collaborate, communicate, cooperate, be compassionate. Uh, be empathetic, work with somebody, or, you know, 
when you feel like it, but you can also stand alone. And they love that because you have all those capabilities of, you know, Dinah Ross is a star, you know what I'm saying? So you really don't need anybody. They know that like you, you, you can be a star in your own right. So I, I feel like I'm helping somebody right now, even though it's a, you know, I'm asking how this person sees you. They see that you really don't need anybody because you are a superstar alone. Because think about it. She was um, Dinah Ross and the Supremes and they was off the chain. We still listening to that. Well, I don't know about y'all. I do. And then she was Dinah, the Dinah Ross. I'm coming out, coming out. I want the world to know. Got to let it show. I'm coming out. Some of y'all could be singers and shit, entertainers and shit. But, or, or ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no value. No. It's like, this is how this person see you. Like, you know, you coming out. You the shit, Nick. As men and women, can't nobody stop you. Ain't no mountain high enough. When they say you can't do it, you gonna do it. Who, what, what, what? Like that. So that's how they see you. I don't know who this man or woman is. I feel like they love you, though. But they also see the, um, the other side of you. Let me see this real quick. Yeah, see, this is they see you as that bad boy, bad girl that she done did everything big and bad enough to do, right? You think about it, you did it if you wanted to do it, but they feel like you always, you know where home is. Home is where the heart is. You know how to come back. But they also feel like you could be very flirtatious and you could be a person who likes being in love and is fleeing. And it, so not like um, a hopeless romantic, uh, but more like... Um, and it could be a hopeless romantic, like, you know, they might feel like you do conquer and conquest and it feels good. And then once it drizzles out, you could be married, not married. I don't care about that. That's not what I'm asking. Um, they just feel like you like that idea, of, the idea of being in love, but you don't give people the out and realize that people are human and it's, it's more reality based. But once you learn your lessons, because they feel like you're a person that learns a lot of lessons, um, pal, um, one, um, life lessons. Lessons. You had to go out there and experience life like you the kind of father and mother or you could be single, you know, 18 plus or whatever. But you was like, you got a story to tell. Like you'd be like, you don't know me. You think you know me, but you don't know me because you got a story to tell. And that's they could probably sit in awe just to listen to the stories as men and women that you tell. And I feel like some lessons you learn and some you don't because I had the devil and I feel like my wife is burning. It takes you a while to learn them. That's what they feel. So if this man or woman is talking to you or talking to somebody about you, they'd be like, he or she need to get, stay out there a little bit longer. You ever hear older people say, just stay out there a little bit longer, baby. And you know, cause you need to learn, you know what I mean? Or it could be your husband, wife, boyfriend, or girlfriend. They need to learn. You got to knock your head a couple of times. That soft, um, that hard head, make a soft ass and shit, right? This is how they feel about you. But once you get it, then you want to get up under somebody who loves you and cares about you and see your true nature. Like you can say stuff like, I was so busy with life, I missed out on some things. Like I didn't spend time with my family or my friends or, you know, my husband, my wife, my boyfriend, a girlfriend, my sister, and the other, or somebody who really, really loved me. I missed that mother, dad, or something like that. Like, cause you, cause you're too busy um, fixating on other things. And I feel like that's how they see you. Yeah. They also feel, they see you as you, you're on a journey of healing. I ain't say you was healed. You, nobody's never healed. It's a progression anyway, but you're on a journey of learning how to be your true authentic self and walk into that. Yeah. And you're a star and, they, and people worship you. Yeah. And you wish for a lot of things. They, I think they feel like they see that you wish for a lot of things that people don't know. And I really do feel like you, they feel like, you know, you feel like maybe your time is running out. That's for some people. I don't know. Let's kick this. I hate the nails. The nails is, um, what time is it? Okay, it's 21. We're going to give everybody 30. Take me a nice, long bubble bath. You could love water. You could love water. You could be very clean. I can see you. You need some sex card. I'm going to have to pull them, y'all, because I, I don't know how they do with these damn nails. How does this person see them? How the hell am I supposed to pull these? How does this man or woman see him? How does this man or woman see this man or woman? Oh, y'all see it? <laughs> they think you're very, very good in bed, and you're, uh, you're not selfish. Let's do a, your favorite number 69. <laughs> how do they see you? Woo! Ooh, cucumber. <laughs> Get your um, endowed. How does man and woman see or they think you are? <laughs> they love the way that you um, take care of their private parts. <laughs> so you're good with your mouth. Anything else? 
You could like to talk too. I'm gonna give you one more pull one. How do they see you? And we cook these. 69 God dog, y'all. Twice. So they feel like you you they give you and you give them. So they just tell them they feel like you're a very, very great lover. You pay attention to um this man and woman's body. And when they give you, you give them, right? Let's see how they see you. And then that what's the name came out. So they feel like you're really good. Good, good. How do they see you? Can't get too much. I ain't trying to lose my chat. I can't, I can't. I mean, I load something. I at least have about 200, 300 people. Now I have six or seven. That's because I got all the things up. Not for children, not for children 18. This security, that security. I do not want anybody. Only thing I got, um, not I got open is my band things. Everything else is just locked in. So I know my, my videos aren't getting out there, but that's okay. Blank slate. This ain't nobody on this card. Oh. Because it was blank and I couldn't see, they could feel like you're very, very hard to read. You could be very, very unpredictable. You could be, seem like you're going one way, then you change up. Anything else? They love your body. It gets them very, very um excited. I'm going to watch my words. I didn't write that word on there. They just feel like you, you, you lack um, love and intimacy. But you can hit the happy place. Yeah. Yeah, see? No love and intimacy. They feel like you're missing love and intimacy. This is how this person um, sees you, right? But you can hit the happy place. They feel like it's kind of empty. And they love your scent. Your, your scent drives them crazy. I heard them say one more. How does person see you? How one God. Definitely, uh, y'all have a problem in bed. I feel like there's an emotional... Um, defect with you i feel like you're they see you as you 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 control your emotions yeah i do i'm not talking about like if you got upset or angry or something like that i'm just talking about just in the whole thing and the love thing the way you react with friends family co-workers like this is an emotional um uh, reactionary pile you know how a reactor is it a reactor go off and it blow up like they some people might have to walk on pins and we needles with you because you could be very funny. Y'all like my shirt. You could be, some of y'all could be into this Afrocentric type shit. You could have been all into that. I don't know why I got to say that. Um, you know how some people you have to walk on pins and needles because you don't know which way they're going to be. I feel like they feel like that. I feel like African centric shit up in here. Oh God, they love your body. I mean, just plus men and women, they love your body. Okay, let's keep this. How does this man or woman see you? You're kind of complex to them, but when it comes to being sexy and sex and that fire and that spice, oh my God. But then you go through some, some insecurities and some selfishness in there. Wig adjustment. You could be a man's man, a woman's woman. You could find you doing... um men's trips women's trips or you could be very selfish with your partner like you and your partner you and your partner against the world you have a lot of against the world type energy i don't know why i'm feeling that how do they see you i hate these nails and just help me get out of self help me get out of ego some of y'all could be from dc every time i see the cherry blossoms they see you as the sun honey god dog oh my they see you as the shit in that. You're, you're the whole package as men and women. Yeah. Even sometimes you can be emotionally unbalanced from the other cards, but they just see you as everything. The sun and the, like, this is the power how they see you. Like, if you get in some, some shit, you're going to get out of it. You're going to be successful, right? They feel like you're very confident in your own skin. Like, they see you as <laughs> cry now, laugh later. Like, when people might talk about you and people might count you out. This is the sun, y'all. This is a sign. They, I, they, they see you as you get a lot of awakenings, a lot of wake-up calls. Like, wake up calls like, oh, I don't peep some shit out, so now I'm moving different. I'm changing up some things. Or you could go into, like, hibernation mode or something like that. Or you could be right there and sitting in the midst of everybody, but you're sitting there planning your escape or, or your new business ideas or what you're going to do or who you're going to cut or who you're going to um, put in your life. Like, they see you like that, right? Because it's, it's a lot of independent shit here. Don't worry, I got my glue. There's a lot of independent stuff here why that came off in the reading got my glue you could fall off 
but you figure out how to ways to put shit back together. You think about stuff, how to put stuff back together. You could be a very good father and a very good mother. You love your kids. And they also feel like this could be self-centered and everything evolves around you. Because you're a leader. Shit, you got leadership qualities. Yes. And a protector. You love your family. And you like to breathe your free spirit. So that's how they see you. I'm going to give you one truest card. How they see you. See how that nail, I didn't put it back on because the camera on. You could let people, how they see you, you could let people think that you're down and out. And then you come back, you know, all you got to do is put the glue on. And then you come back better, bigger and better. That's how they see you. Like this person, I don't think they worship you. I'm not feeling that energy. But they admire your strength because you're very strong and very resilient. And you have, that's what I got to say. You have all the necessary tools to be a successful man and woman from head to toe. The looks, the mind, the brains, everything. Beauty's an eye beholder. You were equipped with everything to be successful. And there's a pile for men and women to be successful. You are. But... If you haven't broken cycles, patterns of behavior, talks to people, places, and things, you're holding on to old attachments, it could keep you in the past. We have a star card, right? And you still have that emotional hurt and you operate out of that. That's how they see your, your hindrance. But if you can move away from that and become that high vibrational man or woman um, that you are, they see the sky is the limit, the world is your oyster. I know I'm sounding um cliche, but they see that in you, like they believe in you. I don't know who, who this person are you asking about. Well, I'm, I mixed them, but they missed you. I don't, shit, I don't know how I gotta say that. How do they see you? Because I feel like you could take long pauses from people. How does the man or woman they love see you? Yeah, as a firecracker, as a very studious, that's the Leo, this fire sign. Go getters, um, so the Sagittarius, look up Sagittarius, Leos, Aries, Aries is, you know, little, you know, different personalities and shit. You know, that that Leo, you know, I got Leo son, you know, it's all about them. They can get shit done. The leaders, the leaders, like you lead, that Sagittarius, got that Sagittarius, you know, can't sit still, restless, adventurous, you know what I mean? Smart, don't want to be crowded. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, they can see you as a fan fantasy to other people and very seductive to people. And they also see you as you have a lot of choices and options and you have a lot of decisions that you have to be made people like you people love you people want you like you the whole prize and shit i'm i'm channeling somebody so because i was getting ready to cry so if there's a man or woman who likes you to channeling um they may feel i don't think they feel inferior because i'm not feeling that but what they're feeling is how they see is that you have to really want them for them and like them for them and when you give them all of you mentally physically spiritually then they don't have anything to worry about but if you like um you know you know being giving them a little bit or you know you're not really giving all of them and you're in that devil energy and maybe you're lying you're not telling the whole truth nothing but the truth whatever then and they feel like that they don't really have you, right? But if you could give them that all and turn that um, um, that chalice upside down, the king of chalice upside down, and and and, and walk into your empress energy and love them for them and kind, compassionate, empathetic, forgiving. Um, be of good character and not make believe or make it up then they feel like they got a good package but if you're operating out that devil energy and you got all this lust and temptations and you fiery and you can't sit still and it's all about me and it could, it could become egocentric you get what I'm saying narcissistic tendencies and shit then they feel like they have a problem so that's how they view you because that's what we're looking at anything else how do they view you it's not about them loving you and all that it's how do they view you this one get ready to come off shit I'm hating these suckers. I got a whole bag. Whole bag. I ain't got more hats. I mean, I don't own that. I, I don't keep putting them on. I bought them for the camera. Y'all know how to tell y'all. I just can't hate these. Y'all know how people can wipe. What the hell? I hate bad hygiene. Fuck. They say nails is bad hygiene. Look at that. It's complicated. They felt how they see is that you can't, it's, you could be very complicated, but it also spin and came upside down. So it's just what I said. If you could get yourself balanced and you know exactly what you want, how you're going to do it, cooperate, compassion, loving, caring, operate out of that, a lot of that divine feminine energy, get that masculine energy under control because you could be very, very masculine, meaning for new people, like it's just, it just has nothing to do with sexuality. It means like you're relentless, 
your goal, goal setters, keep going and doing it, action oriented and protectors, and you're going to get yours. I'm going to get mine, right? But you forget that you could be caring and loving and compassionate and, and allow somebody to come in. You don't have to be so doom, doom, doom. Yeah. So you could be complicated, but if you can get balanced, you won't, you won't be. They could feel like that you stay in conflict. I said that with the um, talks, people, places, and things, and karmics, right? You stay in drama and conflict, and they could feel like you hide it a lot. Yeah, and that's that solitude that you need. You need solitude so you can regroup, so you can be able to think. Remember the hermit? They feel like um, the men and women that love you that you're asking about, you have to, like, I wouldn't be surprised they give you space or you're going to take your space anyway. And they'd be like, I'm going to have to oblige him or her because through that space, through you going off to yourself, depending on who you cut out your life, um, you know what I mean? Because you got to really be in that solitude. They feel like you can be an amazing man or woman because, see, you could, that's when your thinking process kicks of balancing out who you need to, what you need to transmute, what you need to discard, what you need to receive, what you need to let go of. Your think, your creativity um, comes in, and that's how they look at you. And they also look at you as you could be a very um, apologetic, sincere if you choose to be. I didn't say that you was if you choose to be. I ain't gonna do no more because I'm gonna be here all day. And they could look at you as a non-committal type man or woman. Yeah, and hustle. I told you, hustle. You can get distracted very easily. But your high energy, that this is what they love about you, your high energy, if you could get balanced. And that you're a friend. You're a great friend. That's how they view you. Anything else? And, and you could be slow. You could be slow at making decisions and become undecisive. And that you can give. Remember, I told you, no contact. You could be cold and distant and stuff. Anything else? You could be a person to offer gifts and... And, you know, and just do gifts in different ways. Like, yeah, yeah, he's so sweet. Oh, mushy, mushy. And you get triggered. Triggered, how they see you is that this man or woman who you're asking about, they could say something or do something and trigger you. You'd be on the defensive. But what the triggering does for people who don't know, it's, it changes your behavior. So if I go, I'm all nice, I'm all nice, and a man shows me, you know, um, you know, you ain't that nice, and it just hurt my heart. Now I'm mad, I'm mad, I'm mad. But it's going to trigger me to look at, well, maybe I'm not that nice. Or maybe I read into things. So this man or woman, you know, I'm heterosexual, you could use whatever. And he goes, you know what I mean? Are you reading in this stuff? Like, I'm not reading in this stuff. I ain't reading in this stuff. And then you look back and you go, I am reading in this stuff. And so they get triggered. How they how they view you is that you get triggered by this man or woman, but it changes your behavior. And that's it. That's it. Yeah. And they view you as very romantic and very affectionate. When you want to be, this is a power where you choose to do and behave the way you want. All right, that's how they view you, power one.